Why is Ivan the Terrible Painting Controversial? That painting is Ivan the Terrible and his son Ivan on November 16, 1581 painted by Ilya Rabin. The painting depicts the moment after Ivan the Terrible got into a fight with his son and fatally hit him on the head. Ivan appears to be experiencing great grief as he holds his dying son. There is some difference of opinion about the cause of the murder. Contemporaneous foreign sources are more eloquent Jacques Marguerite, a French mercenary captain in service in Russia, wrote there is a rumor that he killed the eldest with his own hand, which wasn't the case. Because, although he struck him with the end of the rod and he was wounded by a blow, he did not die from this, but some time later, on a pilgrimage journey. Another version is reported by the papal diplomat Antonio Pazevino. According to him, in November 1581 in the Alexandrov Kremlin, Ivan the Terrible found his daughter-in-law Helen lying on a bench in undergarments. The third wife of Ivan's son was laying on a bench, dressed in underwear. She was pregnant and didn't expect anyone to visit her. However, the Grand Prince of Moscow, Ivan the Terrible, paid her an unexpected visit. She immediately stood up to meet him, but it was already impossible to calm him down. He hit her in the face, and then beat her with his staff, punching her so hard that she lost her child the next night. His son Ivan then ran to his father and asked him not to beat his wife, but this only made his father angrier. The prince started hitting his son with his staff, which resulted in a very serious wound in the head before that, in anger at his father. The son hotly reproached him in the following words. You imprisoned my first wife in a convent for no reason. You did the same with my second wife. And now you are beating up the third. In order to kill the child she carries in her womb? Having injured his son, the father immediately indulged in deep grief and immediately summoned doctors and Andrei Shchelkov and Nikita Romanovich from Moscow to have everything at hand. On the fifth day, the son died and was transferred to Moscow. 18th century Russian historian Nikolai Gramzin also believed the Tsarevich died because of his father but under different circumstances. He, Ivan the Terrible, put his hand on him, Tsarevich. Boris Godunov wanted to come to his aid but the Tsar inflicted several wounds to him with the point of his scepter and struck the Tsarevich with it on the head. He then fell to the ground, spilling his blood. The father's fury disappeared. Paling with fear, trembling, in complete shock, he exclaimed. I killed my son. <laughs> And he threw himself down to kiss him. Pouring out the blood flowing from a deep wound, he wept sobbed, called for the doctors. He implored the mercy of God and the forgiveness of his son. Ilya Rapin relied on Karamzin's story to paint Ivan the Terrible and his son Ivan on November 16, 1581, one of the most striking paintings of his Christomathy. Russian imperial historian Mikhail Sherbatov, who studied the different versions of Ivan Ivanovich's death, considers Pazevino's version the most plausible and the Russian imperial historian Vasily Klyachevsky called it the only reliable version. The Tsarevich Ivan's death had grave consequences for Russia, since it left no competent heir to the throne. After the Tsar's death in 1584, his unprepared son Fyodor I succeeded him with Boris Godunov as de facto ruler. After Fyodor's death, 
Russia entered a period of political uncertainty, famine and war known as the time of troubles. The details of the Tsarevich's death are unknown and controversial. The Tsarevich died in 1581 in the Alexandrov Kremlin. The residents of Tsar Ivan the Terrible from 1564 to 1581, and the center of his Obushnina and de facto capital of the Russia. Rapin began working on the painting in Moscow. A first overall sketch, with the character of the Tsar turned to his right, dates from 1882. The idea of the painting, according to Rapin. Is linked to his confrontation with the themes of violence, revenge and blood during the political events of 1881. Additional sources of inspiration were the music of Nikolai Rimsky-Korsakov and the bullfights. Rapin witnessed during a trip to Western Europe in 1883. Rapin's painting is also striking because of its representation of blood, which is seeping from the Tsarevich's temple and remains on the floor in a puddle after his father has picked him up. According to Rapin's memoirs, he was influenced by his 1883 trip to Europe, where he witnessed bullfights. According to Rapin, the design and painting of the canvas were a lengthy process. Rapin used Grigory Myasoidov, his friend and fellow artist, as the model for Ivan the Terrible, and writer of several Edgarshan for the Tsarevich. In 1885, upon completion of the oil on canvas work, Rapin sold it to Pavel Trechikov for display in his Trechikov gallery in Moscow. The artwork has been called one of Russia's most famous and controversial paintings. It has been vandalized twice. Once in 1913 and again in 2018. It remains on display in the Trechikov Gallery. Thank you for watching.